Hey, Ryan, how are you? Good, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. So I've seen a lot of changes been happening at UCF this spring, new coaching staff, although for you, it's the same wide receivers coach. Uh, just going through all the changes, everything's a little bit new. How reassuring was it to you knowing you were going to work with Coach Wyatt, someone you who recruited you and you've been working with? Was that kind of uh, something that you could rely on going through all these changes? Oh, yeah. Coach Wyatt is like, you know, he's had my back even when the whole situation happened. You know, he's always calling me. He's keeping in contact. It was just it was it was amazing to see that he's been able to come back because you know like you say he recruited me, me and him are from the same area like we just we got this special bond and it's, it's been amazing to have him back and it's just gonna pick up where we left off pretty much. Of course, why Coach Wyatt stays, but Coach Malzahn and his staff come in. What do you think of Coach Malzahn? What have you? How is that relationship developing? And what do you like about him? I love Coach Malzahn. Like, I mean, like I tweeted out, I, I trust in the Gus Bus. Like, you know, ever since he got here, he's just been championship team, championship team. You know, he's been doing everything that he can to like get us to buy in. And like, just going through practice, I feel like we're all starting to buy in. And like, he's always preaching championship team. And about him, he's always trying to get us to know the reason why we do things. And it's been amazing just to understand the reason why, just so I can grow as a player. And he's just, he's been an amazing guy on and off the field. And it's just, I, I love him. He's a good coach. Ryan, kind of talking more about that a little bit. Like, how do you, how do you, how have you seen the team kind of respond to everything? Is is everyone excited? Like, how has everyone kind of responded to the changes? Is everyone kind of rejuvenated now as you kind of look ahead and start working towards twenty twenty one season? Yeah, I like like you said. Ever since he got here, I feel like through the whole process, the whole changing process, we all got closer. Like before this, like I would talk to a certain amount of defensive players, but now I feel like it's like a brotherhood. Like Coach Miles on, he's been he's always talking about brotherhood, family, just you know buy in. And I feel like ever since the whole thing, it's just helped us get closer. And I, us getting closer is going to help us win a championship. Ryan, looking at the wide receiver room, you guys lose Marlon, Jacob, and uh, you know Trey Nixon. You know some th three main guys that were a big part of the offense last season. Now it's you, Jalen Robinson, but a bunch of younger guys who maybe haven't seen the field as much because they were you know deeper on the depth track, but. What do you like about this wide receiver group, and what have you seen from some of the guys this spring so far? I mean, we're all hungry. Like, like Wyatt was always preaching, yeah, he always loses. You're always going to lose somebody. But, like, like when Gabe left, we have Marlon. Before Gabe, it was whoever. Like, we're just not going to lose a beat. Like, just because they left doesn't mean, like, the young guys were, were hungry. They're going to they're gonna come practice. They've been practicing, just working so hard, you know. It, at the end of the day, next man up mentality. Ryan, last year you were maybe kind of that third or fourth receiver, but now, like as Jason said, a lot of these receivers have graduated and moved on, and so they're going to rely on you to be one of the main guys, something that you really – they didn't have to rely on you that much last year. But knowing you're going to be one of the top receivers, does your mindset change going in? Like this is a really big spring for you. Obviously a new coaching staff, you want to prove it to them, but have you kind of got that in your mind that you need to be maybe more and more of a leader and in in stuff like that going forward? Yeah, I feel like I've had to come in more in the leader role, which is like something I'm not really used to because I've had the older guys. But like at the end of the day, I, I'm I'm a buy in. I'm a lead. I'm gonna do what I can. Like just because they going, I'm gonna be the leader. Like I, I I got to watch Gabe do it. I got to watch Traymon and all them do it. Like I know what it takes to like be the leader and just have a successful group. And I think we all we're gonna have one of the best units in the country. On that topic in terms of leadership and stepping up and maybe you know becoming more of their number one or number two guy what are your goals for this spring and maybe what have you kind of seen from yourself in the past week or so i'll go from this spring is just grow each and every day just get better and better you know just grow develop myself develop new skills become the leader like i like i need to be for the for the young guys but like at the end of the day these guys are hungry they go they're, they're dedicated and they've been working hard so I, my job as a leader is not as hard just because how hungry we are just to, just to win. Ryan, what do you think an offense is going to look like under Gus Malzahn? Obviously, you know, a lot of the same talent returns. You know, Dylan's an excellent quarterback. Uh, how different do you think it'll be from maybe what you guys have run in the past? More balanced or what are you kind of seeing in the early part of spring? Uh, yeah, the more balanced offense, like more downhill. We're going to we're going to get after it. Coach Gus, like outside of receiver, he wants us to be like one of the most physical groups. So we got to buy into that because we have every now and then we'd have to block, but we're going to be downhill offense, but we're going to still have them explosive plays just like we always have. It's going to be fun. Can't wait.
Ryan, what kind of development have you seen out, out of Dylan Gabriel? This is year three for him now. And, you know, obviously he's taken on a, a much larger leadership role. What have you seen from him on, on the field, on and off the field, actually? Dylan's just been an amazing, he's been an amazing guy off, on and off the field. Like he's, he's always hit, t- texting us outside, outside of practice, making sure we're there, doing like all the little things. He's always checking on us. Dylan's just been an amazing quarterback. He's always been able to just, you know, like he says, he's a gunslinger, he can throw. And he's just, I, just watching him in practice, he, he's hungry. Like he's hungry than probably than most I've seen since I've been here. He's hungry. Ryan, who's kind of impressed you? Maybe you know early on in spring, has anyone kind of stood out that's maybe having a had a good five, five or six days out there? Uh, Brandon Johnson, a transfer from uh, Tennessee, he's been doing really good. Amari Johnson, the young guy, he's probably one of the most hungry guys on the team. Like he's gonna he's gonna make a difference. Jay Flash doing his thing. Um, Corey Thornton locking stuff up out there, Devontae, like a whole defense. They like our defense is gonna be a problem on a lot. All right, last one here from Jason. You just mentioned Brandon Johnson, kind of an older guy, a bit more of an experienced player. What what have you seen from him? What do you like about him? And what does that type of experience provide to the wide receiver room? Brandon really reminds me of A Rob, the, the guy that just left. Like he's calm off the field, you know, he could chill, vibe with him, but on the field he's hungry. He's gonna do what he's gotta do. He's when he was in practice, it's, it's game time. It's go mode, like focus up, like don't bring none of that nonsense to him. Like he's just been, and he's been just an amazing guy to just look up to and just help me develop my skills. All right, thanks Ryan, thanks guys. All right, thank you.